Now, with all kinds of equipment and animals around the farm, it's important for children to know the importance of safety when visiting a farm. Yeah, that's why every year the Spalding County Farm Bureau invites children around the area to attend their Farm Safety Day. Our Damon Jones was there and has the story. It doesn't matter if they're growing up on the farm or just visiting one. It's important for children to know some basic safety tips to keep them out of harm's way. That's why the second annual Farm Safety Day held on the University of Georgia Griffin campus is so important as it allows kids to learn valuable information they otherwise wouldn't get. I just don't think that they're taught this in schools or anything like that. I feel like it's up to the community to, to bring them out here and just teach them a little bit about safety that, and issues they may face on a daily basis. With most of these kids not around the farm on a daily basis, it's more important than ever to expose them to some of the dangers as they are likely to visit a farm in the near future. Well, you know, the, the thing is that a lot of the kids in our area don't necessarily grow up on farms, but nowadays kids visit farms a lot. And truth be known, you can get into just as much visiting a farm as you can living on one and probably aren't gonna know as much about what can hurt you if you don't live on one as opposed to just going and visiting one. And at this event, all the bases were covered as kids got to hear from experts on electricity, boating safety, and of course, farming. It's that kind of diversity the organizers think will really benefit the children in the long run. You never know what you're going to get into on a farm. Uh, you know, it's just important to cover everything that you can because it might that one that one thing you don't cover might be what somebody gets hurt on with 10 different stations and more than 50 kids in attendance this certainly wasn't a small event and while it might have taken some hard work to put together it really was a labor of love uh, we started planning about three months ago and it just takes time to find the volunteers to come out and teach the classes and of course we have to have volunteers to just help with the kids throughout the day but it, it does, it's a little work, but it's worth it in the end. And it wasn't just fun for the kids, as the volunteers, whether they were presenting or just chaperoning, also had a good time putting on this event. They enjoy it. I mean, we all love working with the kids. And, I mean, this is one of, our, after last year, I've decided this is one of my favorite events that we do. We really have a good time putting it together. As for what the organizers hope the kids will take away from today, just be aware of their surroundings when they're on their small farm, large farm, or even out visiting a farm. Uh, is something as small as being around a, a horse or a cow. You know, don't don't walk around the back of it. It's it's a dangerous. It can be a dangerous animal. Reporting from Griffin, I'm Damon Jones for the Georgia Farm Monitor.